Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're not talking about Proclaim like I normally do. Instead, I was actually getting ready and preparing to record a video about how to build a church website and I realized that one of the contenders, which was called Faith Life Sites, is no longer available. Uh, this was shocking to me, and that's how I stumbled across this page right here. And in fact, if you go to faithlife.com slash sites, um, you will be redirected here. And in fact, this is a major update from Faith Life, and I'm going to share my thoughts with you on that. So first, let's go into it. First, it starts off by saying, we've made the difficult decision to sunset elements of equip. So there used to be this thing, uh, and I say used to because it's, it's being discontinued. You cannot sign up for it anymore, it appears. But it was called Faith Life Equip, and it basically gave you access to really a whole suite of Faith Life products. And it was designed for churches to purchase. And so, um, as you can see, it had church management or what's called CHMS functionality. Uh, there was sites. There was a live streaming. You got access to Proclaim. I think you got access to uh, some other things regarding giving. And, um, and we'll look at the full list here in just a second. But they've made the difficult decision to actually sunset elements on June 30th, 2023. June 30th, 2023. Um, and so that is really not that far away. Uh, I'm recording this here uh, Monday, January 9th. And so that is not that far away. Uh, as you can see, it says they'll be migrating Faith Life Giving to a new payment facil facilitator. Uh, and also, this wasn't an easy decision, but they believe it's the right one. Um, obviously, there's going to be various communities and churches that are impacted by this just simply because of the fact maybe they had their website built on here maybe they were using the live streaming uh, functionality maybe they're using the giving obviously the giving is, is a huge major one um if you had your giving set up through here and it's been discontinued uh, and again we don't know the details on that and they haven't shared the details on faith life giving so i'm sure that they're going to work with people to get everything migrated to a new platform um, because that's a huge one for churches obviously you know some churches rely on the online giving solely you know and uh, obviously, a lot of churches are mixed on that. You know, probably uh, our church, uh, my church that I go to, we probably have some on the online giving. Most of it's in person, obviously, for us. But for a lot of churches, it could be entirely online. Anyhow, uh, looking through, um, they're going to stop charging people immediately for the elements that are being sunset. So if you were paying for sites, uh, live stream, or any of their other functionality that's being sunset, you're going to get a refund. So that's nice to see. Um, but looking down here, um, I just want to quickly touch on the giving one more time because they have more details here. And it basically said it's going to be rebranded and migrated to a new platform. Probably not under the Faith Life brand, it sounds like. So maybe they're trying to kind of convert that over to another giving platform. So you'll still be taken care of, um, but there there is going to have to be a migration possibly. And like it says, including steps to transition. So right now they're saying no immediate action is necessary. Um, and they're going to maintain full functionality support until uh, June 30th. And that says under nine months from now, which means that this was made late 2022. I mean, again, I'm recording this right at the beginning of, of January. So um, so I've stumbled across this, I guess, a couple months, maybe one or two months uh, since it's been posted. Anyway, um, looking down here. I'm interested to see this. So it says, equipped customers will be automatically migrated to the new church toolkit bundle. I have not seen that yet. Um, I do not know. I've searched for this. I can't find it. When I do, I'm going to make another video. But it says it's going to contain Proclaim, Pro Media, Lagos Pastoral Premier, Sermons, TV for the Church, and Lagos for the Church. All customers will continue to have access to the products that are sunsetting until um, June 30th at no charge. Annual subscribers, they'll receive uh, probation. And then obviously, um, basically just saying that they're going to work with you. Here is where we get into the interesting stuff here. So as we can see, here's the products that are being sunset. And I'm shocked to see that the Faith Life app is actually being sunset. Uh, I'm not surprised because really, I don't think a lot of churches adopted this. Uh, I, a lot of churches wanted a mobile app. And in fact, I'm going to be making some videos on 
the mobile app that our church uses, it's through Sudsplash, and I'll explain that platform and that whole system um, pricing as well. I'll share some of that with you guys. Um, but we actually use that for our church website. Do I love the website? No, I don't. Um, I would much prefer to have a website built through WordPress, which we can do. Um, but you know, I, I think that the website through Subsplash is more limited, very similar to Faith Life sites, to be honest, very limited in the way that you can customize it. Um, but that's probably good for most people. You know, I'm very technical, obviously. I want to have complete customizability with uh, the website, which really I just haven't gotten on some of these platforms. But if you need an easy website, the Subsplash site's good. I will say that's what we're using, though. We're using it because it's easy and because it's it's low maintenance. And that's ultimately what we need right now because we're not full-time employees, you know, of the church or anything to to manage that. And I think that's a lot of people who are watching. You know, they're not full-time. If you are, then, yeah, sure, you probably have more time to do more complex things. But then you also have to ask that question, do you want that? Um versus spending more time editing content, publishing it, whatever the case is. Anyway, with this being said, the apps are being discontinued. And the apps allowed you to ultimately kind of, you know, connect with your church. And so I, I don't know exactly what it means when it says sunset. Are these being removed from the app store entirely? Because that was the kind of the backbone of faith life groups and everything. Again, maybe not, maybe all that's going away. We'll see. So Equip Church Management, I never really used this. They're saying that you can export and migrate to another provider. Presumably, they're going to help you do that. Uh, again, the apps are being sunset. The website builder is being sunset. And then Faith Life Live Stream, which is, again, their tools for live streaming, that's going to be sunset as well. Um, giving, it basically says that that's still ongoing, but it's just going to be rebranded. So again, like I said, maybe that's moving to something non-faith life. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. But then all these products here that you're looking at uh, in green, these will all still be offered. So that's that's good news. Ultimately, there's a whole Q&A down here, lots of questions. So I'll put a link to this in the video description. But I want to share my thoughts on this and what I think. Some people might look at this and be concerned. You know, I'm a big promoter of Faith Life Proclaim, even Pro Media. We were subscribed to that for a long time. We're not currently, um, just because we didn't find uh, a whole lot of use out of it for our current need. But but we may come back to it. In fact, just because we had backgrounds from other uh, sources, and again, might make a video on some of those. But long story short, is this. I think that Proclaim is, and, I, and I'll, you know, until I come across something better, in which I'll gladly start promoting it, um, I think that this is the best presentation software. It's easy to use. It's great for volunteers. It's, I mean, I, I like it just because it's, it's even web and cloud-based. Um, I'm in the Philippines right now, um, just traveling, and I'm able to build the presentations the volunteers know how to log on to our church computer and load the current presentation. So I'm doing all the work building it and putting it together. Um, and then the volunteers just simply activate it and click through it. So again, I have not found anything else uh, that can do that. So that's extremely powerful to me. It's also easy to use. You know, I've used the other ones, Media Shout, uh, I've used Easy Worship, I've used Pro Presenter. They're great. They're powerful tools. They're not as user-friendly, in my opinion. Again, you should test all these things out, and at some point I will download trials and do side-by-side -side comparisons, but ultimately, again, I, I'm a believer and supporter of Faith Life Proclaim fully. Now, the way that I found about the way that I found out about Proclaim was through Lagos Bible Software. And again, I think that, that is a premium Bible software. That's a whole nother video to talk about that. But ultimately, um, that is ultimately how I, I came across this product. And I was looking last minute for a presentation software as I moved to a new church, and they wanted me to assist with this. And I found this software, and it was it's just it's it was so easy from the get-go. Um, it was a Saturday night. I built the presentation. We ran it on Sunday, and it worked flawlessly. I really have never had issues with it. With all this being said, there may be concerns because I'm a big promoter. And they're discontinuing, you know, 
the website builder, the apps, live streaming, giving is being changed up. Uh, what does this mean for Proclaim? In my opinion, it means nothing. There's two ways to look at it. You can be concerned, like, oh, what's going on with Faith Life? Are they, are they going under? Uh, I don't think so at all. Why? Because they have a huge backbone just with Lagos. Lagos would keep them afloat, in my opinion, in my understanding, uh, from reading forums and, 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 uh, and different discussions over there. That, that's their, like, they could just be in business just with that. They've added these other things because churches need this. My guess is that the sites and stuff and the live streaming, these weren't adopted heavily, and it was probably costing them quite a bit. Uh, Proclaim, on the other hand, you know, may have even received less resources due to having to maintain these other things. And so I look at this as a positive thing, which is most likely they are realizing that that most of their business is coming from some of these products that they're keeping online and remaining to, you know, keep offering, basically. Meaning, we should see better updates coming out for what is currently on screen. Proclaim, the media, the sermons, TV, mobile ed, Lagos. And so that is kind of exciting to me because it means that Faith Life you're not going to be a master of everything. It's just, it's really, it's really impossible. Um, and I appreciated what they were doing, trying to be kind of that all-in-one platform for churches. However, again, there were limitations with some of the things that I saw on the sites and other uh, things. With all that being said, they have, in my opinion, again, the best presentation software. Uh, I love Lagos. I, I am a buyer and subscriber to that. Um, pro media, when we had it, it was good. We had other sources for backgrounds, and so there was a little bit of redundancy there. But all of this stuff, even mobile ed, it's insane. Mobile ed is, is absolutely insane. If you're not familiar with it, it's basically college-level classes, seminary-level classes um, at a fraction of the cost that you can just go through. And all these things are extremely valuable. This basically reassures me that Faith Life in 2023 and maybe moving forward is, is trying to narrow their focus onto this core products. And I don't think Proclaim is going anywhere. I have received no indication of that. Um, as an affiliate, you know, I haven't received anything of the sort. And I know that there's been many updates to Lagos. We're on version 10 already. And so basically, I am making this video just to kind of share this update. But um, to also kind of share my opinion about it all, which I think this is a positive thing. If you're using Proclaim, I wouldn't have any concerns. So with that being said, let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if there's any of these particular things you want me to cover, let me know also. Um, and if you're interested in potentially a mobile app for your church or you want to see more about the Subsplash platform, I can also share that as well. So just kind of let me know again in the comments below what direction do you want to see, what new videos do you want to see coming out. Uh, I'll be glad to accommodate you as best I can. With that being said, take care. God bless.